Sarah is a really tough kid. I think um, recruiting her and kind of coming in, there was a, a couple of her club coaches um, that informed me of you know her history and kind of what has happened with her family. My mom, what, her name's Stacy. She was a very loving person, uh, very down to earth, awesome. She was diagnosed with breast cancer my the, twice actually. The first year was when I was in fifth grade. That was really bad. It was um, she had it for about she was fighting it for about two years. She had a lot of surgery, she had a mastectomy. Then she got re-diagnosed my sophomore year in high school. When my mom passed, I, I was like, you know, we gotta do something because she's gone, but she's, you know, we need to honor her in a way. So I thought of a saying, I was like, there's so many sayings out there and I really wanted to hit it on the head with a really good saying. So I, I kept, uh, I thought of the one, it says keep on living, SKD. And then it's the day she died, which was February 12th, 2012. And I came up with a saying because, I mean, my mom may have died, but like she still lives within every single one of us. And every time I, I wear this bracelet every day, and every time I look down, I just think of my mom and, you know, how hard she fought. And it really inspires me and everyone else that has this bracelet on. I think we, we just connected right away because we both had lost parents um, in that middle school, kind of high school hardship age. And I think for her, it, it was really special because, you know, she was one that we could, you know, sit down and really communicate and, and chat about, you know, what it means to, to lose a parent. And um, the, the, as open as she is and I am, I think it developed a, a relationship right away. The support system here is awesome. I mean, I was thankful to have Gina as my coach because she definitely, she's always had my back. She comes from, you know, she has a lot of family problems too, and she definitely helped me a lot. And I don't, I think if it wasn't for Gina or the support system, I wouldn't have been able to do it. For her coming to a school that she knew that there was someone else that knew her story um, and that felt her pain, I think that's where it began. And then from there, it kind of stemmed throughout the athletic department and within our team. You know, it just was one of those things where I think she felt the love across the board. Our athletic department really supports uh, Susan G. Komen Foundation. For example, my team, we have bake sales and we do the Susan G. Komen walk against breast cancer. Um, we all get really pumped for it. We wear, we deck out, we wear like eye black and then we, put it, you know, have all the hair accessories, the tutus. We do a, a bake sale every year um, and our kids get really pumped for it. It's uh, one of those things that uh, we don't have any part in as a coaching staff, they love doing it. Um, every year we design a, a different shirt uh, for our team. The history of, you know, breast cancer within our program really hits home for us. So we, you know, try to do everything in our power to raise all the money that we can as a program to support finding a cure. Wearing pink is just a symbol of our support and you know how much it means to us as a program to um, continue to raise awareness uh, and trying to get people to be as involved as we are. It's a lot more than just the game. I mean every time I put, every time I step on the field I always think of my mom because she was my biggest supporter. She came to all my games. Just wearing pink, I mean to me especially it means a lot more. It's just I'm fighting not only for my mom but the people that you know are fighting at home or in the hospital. I'm fighting for them.